we've had the largest, most destructive, and deadliest wildfires in state history. Again, that's just in the last five years. But a new program is working toward understanding extreme uh, wildfire behavior using our photos. Fires creating their own weather from thunderstorms, extreme winds, and even tornadoes. A vicious cycle in our warming, drying climate. It's a link that we don't fully understand. Uh, how fires basically make themselves worse through the generation of extreme weather that, again, impedes our ability to fight these fires, uh, to get in front of these fires in the way that we have been able to in the past. Posing an immediate and growing threat to firefighters and the public. That's why researchers at the University of Nevada, Reno and Desert Research Institute are launching a new community science project that will help with fire prediction. People have a real hunger for wanting to help move the needle, solve some of these most pressing environmental problems. The program has two parts. A crowdsourcing site called Ashfall Citizen Science invites community members to share observations of ash raining down around wildfires. This will help better document the size and shape of ash lofted into the sky. There's also a middle school curriculum focusing on how scientists use physical and conceptual modeling to better understand the wildfire environment. Our hope is to empower the next generation of scientists or thinkers with the basic literacy that they need today to become successful in finding those solutions for tomorrow. A tomorrow in a warmer, drier world with extreme fire behavior. And it's where the rubber meets the road in a lot of ways. It's the very immediate realization of, uh, of what that warming climate can mean for us living here in the West. If you're interested in participating, you can find a link to Ash Falls Citizen Science on abc10.com forward slash links.